Okay, we want Harry Reid out there for really one reason only. He controls the agenda in the Senate, and that means that our senators or a senator from Maine or a senator from Hawaii can't read these trillion dollar bills. What have we had? We've had cap and trade. They're trying to ram through socialized medicine. We've already had trillions in bailouts and the stimulus package, and they can't even spend the money fast enough. Reed has rammed each of those through the Senate, and they're pretty close to trying to ram through without any input from any congressman anyplace else. They're trying to ram through health care. We've got to stop all these issues because Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi are ramming us towards socialism if we're not already there. I'm going to talk to the crowd here today, and what I'm going to tell them is I'm going to go back to the protest times of the 1700s when a bunch of people were told they couldn't do anything about it. We had a revolutionary war and they had a theme, don't tread on me and nobody gave them a chance and they beat the Redcoats. We had protests when I was in my 20s in the 1960s against big government ramming something the people didn't want down their throats. Now we've got it again, folks. Everyone in this country has to be concerned that Harry Reid is ramming these programs down your throat and everyone from Maine to Hawaii needs to join us at congressontrial.com and do something about it. He's never served. He doesn't know. This is what undermines the security of our nation. Harry Reid standing in front of a camera telling the whole world, including our enemies, that President Bush lied, treated General Petraeus with contempt, and called him a loser, and said the war in Iraq is lost. And guess who was wrong? Harry Reid. So here's a suggestion. Don't tell the enemy anything. Don't tell them what our policies are. Don't tell them what our strategies are. Don't criticize. Shut up! I challenge all of you, the not so silent majority anymore, to exercise your right of free speech and chastise these people who use these tactics. We owe it to those who fought for this country. It is your duty to help them. They did their part, now let's do ours. Because you see, I can tell the difference between this and this. You know, if it's bigger than this, and it's really bigger than this, then we must know what it's full of. If you think about it, this health care bill of a thousand pages, I'm sorry, but you only have to read the first five to know. It's bigger than this. And you know what? It violates this! And therefore, it can't stand! So the only debate with the health plan is, no! Hell no! You don't have the authority to do this! You know, in this book, there's a thing called the Ninth Amendment. Let me give you the short version of the Ninth Amendment. Get lost! Get lost! We are going to fire all of you who abuse your power and seek more. It is not your power. It is ours, and we want it back. We entrusted you with it, and you abused it. You are dishonorable and dishonest. As Americans, we're ashamed of you. But worse, you brought shame to us. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Americans, we are at a crossroads of American history. Sound the alarm, and the alarm starts with one of these incumbents at a time. And here we are today, and we are here to what? Unelect Harry Reid. And I can't hear you if all we are is a whisper. <laughs> it isn't going to happen. Unelect Harry I do care about my children's future, and I strongly protest the tax and spend policies, big government, and the expanding $10 trillion debt. Do you? Yeah. In my opinion, Harry Reid's actions, statements as Senator Majority Leader impact all of us in the United States. 
not just Nevada. Amen. That's why I'm here. I reviewed Reed's voting record and his public statements and find many unacceptable and vi things violating our public trust. I respectfully ask you, the fellow citizens of Nevada who are here, for your help. Please unelect Harry Reid. Yeah. 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 What I want to share with you is a story, a story about 56 men. 56 men that stood up against tyranny and said no to oppression from King George. Those 56 men signed the Declaration of Independence and signed their death away to stand up for freedom. You can do the same yourself. You can take it to the courts, you can take it to your neighbor and let people know that we're not going to stand anymore for what is wrong. We're going to stand up and we're going to be Americans. Thank you. We need checks and balances as our founders intended when they drafted the Constitution. I am an American and I want to keep the Constitution. It is the greatest document ever written. country to be under socialism. That's for Russia, not the United States of America. I am an American, and I am very proud of it. And I am American, and I believe in freedom. I want to thank you for letting me come here today and talk to you. And I want to thank you for coming and enjoy, in, in, in putting up with this heat in order to exercise your rights. Thank you. And I want to leave you with one of the themes from the 60s of protest. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. And Reed and Pelosi need to hear that.